Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another weekly grocery haul and meal plan video. Happy Monday, which means it's Monday for y'all. It's Saturday for us. Kylie and I actually just went um, on a long walk. We have a trail, our local YMCA has a um, like trail system around the woods or through the woods surrounding the YMCA. And Kylie and I just went on a nice little 45 minute walk. Um, so we're feeling really good. And now we are at Aldi. Now it is almost Sam's club time again. You guys know that I go to Sam's club or Costco, but I'm really loving Sam's lately. Um, about once every month and I just realized Philly messed up my book here, but we go to Sam's club about once a month and it is time for that again. Um, so over the next two weeks, I'm actually going to be cleaning out my pantry and freezer in preparation for that. So that means that I'm going to be finding meals in our freezer to use up to free up space. So today, basically what I did was I went through our deep freezer and our inside freezer and made our entire meal plan based off of what we already had in the freezer. So some of this stuff we just need to use up and we are going to do that this week. So I'm going to go ahead and share the meal plan with you guys. But first I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by the brand Epare. These mesh produce bags are one of the easiest and most effective ways that you can store your fruits and vegetables in the refrigerator and keep them fresher for longer. I, for one, have thrown away many, many a vegetable and a fruit due to my lack of proper storage and these produce bags have completely fixed that for me so i did a little experiment last week i took some green grapes that i had purchased and i put them in a tupperware container about half of them in the tupperware container which is what i had been doing with my fruit and then the other half i put in this large mesh produce bag i let them sit for several days and then here i am showing you what they look like after about five days in each of their respective containers as you can see the ones in the epare bags are perfect there's no browning they're not like soft they're still crisp and delicious and the ones in the Tupperware container are starting to brown already after just a few days. So that experiment sold it for me. I immediately started using these produce bags. Broccoli is another one that I have a hard time going through before it goes bad or starts to just like look bad, if that makes sense, and not be as crisp and fresh. And these produce bags kept my broccoli and cauliflower safe and crisp and fresh all week long. So these bags, are very affordable. They only costed about $12 for this set. And that is amazing when you think of all the produce that you can save and not throw away over the course of the lifetime of these bags. They also are an easy, effective way to cut plastic waste, which is another big problem in our world right now. You can cut up to a thousand plastic bags per use per lifetime use of these produce bags, which is another amazing factor when choosing to use something like this. So go ahead and get you some produce bags. You will not be disappointed. Check the link in the description to get you some. And thank you again to Epare for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and look at my meal plan and then we will get shopping at Aldi. Okay, so like I mentioned, I went through my deep freezer to find these meals. So we had some buffalo chicken bites. Those are from um, Sam's Club. They're the Members Mark brand. We're going to be having those one night with some fries. We have these mini pizzas that we got at Costco, I think, the last time we were there. And we still have like seven or eight of them. It was like a box of 20. Um, but I want, they're taking up, you know, they're like stacked in my freezer and they're taking up some room. So we're going to eat them all. We're just going to cook them all one night you know, Chris will probably eat two of them. And then we will have a side salad with that. We have one of those pasta con quesos left that we had got at Sam's Club. I think it's the Lowry's brand. We're going to cook that up one night with some garlic bread. And then we have some mini tacos from 
I think those are from Costco as well that we need to use as well as, um, we had taquitos and rice last week and I had frozen some leftovers of both of those. So we're just going to kind of have a big old, um, taco night and get rid of all of that. And then we're going to have some grilled chicken with roasted potatoes. And we did not eat the gnocchi last week because we got, I think we got takeout one night. Um, so we're going to eat that this week. So those are our meals. And I literally need almost nothing for the meals except for like vegetables for the salad, the garlic rolls, stuff like that. Um, everything else that we need is pretty much for, you know, the kids for lunches and just the week, the rest of meals, like breakfast and lunches. So I also wanted to let you guys know, let me turn you around. So I did go to Walmart yesterday, today, Saturday, I went to Walmart on Friday and I picked up pretty much all of our snacky foods there. We were out meeting Chris for lunch, Finley and I, and I had a few minutes to spare. So we just went into Walmart and picked up pretty much what I could that wasn't like cold because I knew we were going out to lunch. So I got like juices and snacks and all of that. So when we get home from Aldi, I'm going to show the Walmart haul first and then we will get into the Aldi haul. But I did just want to let you know that I did already get some stuff at Walmart. So let's go ahead and go shopping at Aldi. Good job. All right. You're going to push the buggy? Okie dokie. We need crackers for Chris. And they actually have saltines this week, which is good because he did not like the Ritz ones last week. All right, anything else we need right here? We're not gonna get turtles today, although they did like those because I bought um, whales at Walmart yesterday. So I think that's all we need right here, right? They're stocking some stuff. Ooh. Ooh, Utopian Breeze Peach Moscato. Mixed Berry Moscato. Okay, we're trying this. We, I mean, come on. We, we got to give this a go. What? We don't need Cheez-Its. Oh, Chris really likes this marbled cinnamon bread here. And we have not picked it up in a while. It is... $4.19, but he really likes it. So we're gonna grab him two of those. Oh, I've never seen those cinnamon rolls before. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm gonna buy those because he probably won't like them, but we are gonna get two of these marble cinnamon rolls because he really likes those. And then two of these garlic knots, which we've mentioned before. We really like, and we have two meals we're gonna eat that with this week. Okay, let's see. I wanted to grab some turkey sticks. They used to be over here. I might have moved them. Oh, here they are. Uh, that's beef jerky. Snack sticks. These ones. For me. Okay. Purple and green grapes. Let's find strawberries. I'm hoping they have. Maybe they don't have strawberries. Oh, man. No strawberries at all. No. They don't have any. We'll get some blueberries. Well, Barson's gonna have to eat something else. We'll get two things of blueberries because I'm gonna eat it on my yogurt too. Oh, cherries. We have a bunch of red cherries. These look good. I wish we liked cherries. <laughs> we just don't like them, but they always look good. Hey, you knocked a sign down. Pick it up, Missy. If you've been here a while, then you know that the Aldi green beans are our favorite. So we're gonna get a bag of those for, I guess we'll do that with the night that we have chicken. Me and Chris will do that. Let's see, what else do we need in produce? We need broccoli. Here's broccoli. Mm. Let's see here. We can put these in our produce bags when we get home. All this produce. Oranges. We always buy more produce when we come to Aldi. I need to shop at Aldi more. We buy more healthy things. Right, Kylie? Yeah, Do you think there's more options here? Yeah. I'm just looking at their meats down here. Oh, don't, let's not forget that cooked bacon that you guys love yeah. from here. Okay, so we need a thing of eggs and we need a thing of milk. Will you get a thing of red milk for you guys? Yeah. And I will get the eggs, which are $3. Right, have eggs always been that expensive? You got one off the floor? That's fine. I think it's fine. 
What do we need to do? We need yogurt for you and Finley, and then also for. Let me see. Uh, what is that? It's vanilla. No, that's plain. I like vanilla. Vanilla. Vanilla's right here. Greek yogurt. Here we go. Not fat Greek yogurt, vanilla. Yeah. So this one won't be for me, but then you girls need some. However many you want. Kylie's been loving these, the pasta rings with meatballs in her lunches. They're 60 cents. So she really likes those. Yeah, you got okay. okay, that's sure. fine. We put them in her thermos and she likes them. We're skipping snacks. We don't need any of that. Look at these fun little, these are new they say. What's a cat? Like mm -hmm. a backrest and then there's a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. And there's some stoles up here. That's cute. Oh, they have this little step one part, like chair, table set. It's $45. This is this is Kylie's favorite aisle for sure. And she brought her little debit card with her so that she could buy something if she needed to. Oh, these are cool. One of the like bob type things. You see anything you like? I would say these are all the toys right here. There's Play-Doh. Stickers, 420 stickers. Here's this. Oh, if I can get it down. Mm. Rainbow high coloring thing. And there's also a light year one. We watched light year last night. Yeah. Let's see what she can find, right? Mm -hmm. Giant activity kit. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. I don't remember seeing these before, but it says they're on clearance. They're these huge candles. That bowl's pretty. I'm gonna drop them for the back. But they also have these cute pet things over here, like for their toys. So this one's a bone, and then there's a fish for cats. Isn't that cute? What? Oh, it's like a dog toy set. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, let's go up here and see what's up here. Hmm, this one looks like it's kitchen stuff. Bunch of different kitchen things. And then some outdoor, like, clearance stuff. Let's see here. That's a cool, like, nice size lunchbox. Hmm. Kylie brought her little money card with her, like I mentioned, and she picked this this cat guy for her room so oh what's oh, dessert, in a jar. dessert in a jar raspberry cheesecake oh they're all raspberry cheesecake that's interesting hmm. never seen that before smoky cheddar cashew dip hmm Okay, I'm gonna very quickly show you the Walmart portion of this grocery haul. A lot of this is snacky items of stuff that I just wanted to pick up at Walmart and um, knew that Aldi either didn't have or that we like the Walmart version better. So the first thing that I picked up are a couple of these little like jean jeggings for Finley in a size 3T. These were $3.98 and I thought that these would be good to wear to preschool. Um, once it gets a little bit colder, which I mean, it's already getting to the point here where we could wear some days pants with like a short sleeve t-shirt. So I wanted her to have something that can get ruined. That's not super nice. And if it gets a hole in it, it doesn't matter. So I picked up two pairs of those, the Kool-Aid jammers. I haven't been able to find these like at Food Lion the last couple of weeks, I would say they haven't had them. So when I saw them at Walmart, I went ahead and picked up two boxes of those. These are Finley's favorite. And then same story, um, the lemon berry squeeze Hawaiian punch we haven't been able to find. Our food line has been out of like all juices, literally like almost all juices lately. So went ahead and picked these up when I saw them. Um, I needed these. These are pretty self-explanatory. And then we have an array of snacks and a few more uh, different things down there. But 
Um, Bryson has been asking, well, actually Kylie eats these more than Bryson does, but sometimes the kids will eat just pop tarts for breakfast, um, with some fruit. Kylie will eat a pop tart with some yogurt for breakfast on a school morning. So I grabbed the chocolate fudge and then Bryson, if you guys have been around for a while, you know that Bryson loves these chocolate, the dark chocolate cream Velveeta sandwiches. The kid would eat like four packs in the morning if I allowed him to. Um, so Walmart has a 12 pack and it is by far the best deal, except for when I got them. I can't remember if it was Sam's club or Costco, but, um, they have a pretty good deal. It might be Sam's club. Maybe I should look into that again. But anyway, I grabbed a 12 pack for next week. And then last week when I bought the turtles from Aldi, or it might've been two weeks ago, the kids mentioned that we haven't had whales in a while and they love whales. So I grabbed them for them this week. I've been craving some granola on yogurt, like granola with um, strawberries and yogurt. I don't know. I've been craving it. So I grabbed this Nature's Valley Cinnamon Crunchy Vanilla, and I had to make sure I grabbed one that didn't have nuts in it. I got this white cheddar popcorn seasoning. Bryson asked me for that. And to go along with that, I got him the Pop Secret Movie Theater Butter Popcorn. Every once in a while, Bryson gets on a popcorn kick where he will eat... Um, this combination, the white cheddar seasoning with this, like literally every night for snacks. So he asked me for that the other day. So I went ahead and got it for him. Everybody in my family loves Gardettos, but Kylie especially loves them. I even made a, um, container for them out of the containers that I showed you guys last week in my grocery haul. So I bought two bags while I was there because this um, the family size ones are only at Walmart and they're a better deal than getting like the littler bags at Food Lion. So I went ahead and grabbed two bags of those while I was here. Mickey Mouse fruit snacks. My kids loved those the last time we got them. And then the cheddar rolled gold pretzels we can also only get at Walmart. So I grabbed a bag of those while I was there. So like I'm not going to buy any snacks at Aldi, obviously, because I've pretty much bought all of the snacks. We were really low on snacks, though, and we definitely needed some. So this is just a pretty big snack restock with having to pack lunches and stuff. We're going through snacks faster, which is funny because I thought we would not go through them as fast when they went back to school. But it's the opposite. Anyway, Finley's favorite snack is Doritos. So I grabbed her the Cool Ranch Doritos. Um, and then so I pretty much grabbed a snack for every kid and then... They definitely all eat these and they all eat those. Now, if you've been around for a while, why do I have a sock on my counter? That would be Kylie. If you've been around for a while, you know that um, I'm allergic to peanuts and the kids don't eat them either. None of our kids eat peanut butter, but Chris really likes Reese cups and the pumpkins are his favorite. But when I saw that they had this like value bag with the bats and the ghost as well, I mean, look how cute that little ghost is. He's so cute. Um, I went ahead and grabbed them for him. Oh, they don't usually have like cut out faces like this, do they? I wonder if it actually is like that. We're going to have to figure that out. Or if it's like, that's just for the, for the, for the package. Couldn't think of the word. But anyway, I grabbed these for Chris. He actually throws them in the fridge and we'll eat them cold. And he'll eat them like right before he goes to bed at night or something. Like when he knows he's not going to be coming into contact with me or whatever. <laughs> them. Um, Finley needed some new cups and we've actually already opened them because Piper keeps grabbing them. Finley leaves it on the floor and Piper eats it. So I decided to try these take and toss ones. It says they're dishwasher safe, BPA free, all of that. Um, and supposedly they're supposed to be leak proof. Actually, I could show you with the one that she already started using. So I never used these before. She wanted to use this one. So I filled some water in it, but let's see. Okay. So it looks like, okay. So it looks like it will leak whatever was already in the straw, but after that it won't leak. Like if you're just dumping it upside down, it looks like it'll leak what was in the straw. I tilted it back over and put more in the straw, but I mean, you know, if you're going to shake it vigorously, it's probably going to leak, but, um, I don't know. Anyway, I grabbed these because they were $3 and there's four of them. And if Piper eats them, then it's not that big of an investment. Okay, and the last thing that I grabbed were these triple chocolate muffins. The last time I got these, Bryson would eat like three in the morning for breakfast. So I thought these would be a fun treat for the weekend. So that is everything from Walmart. Um, today is Friday. I'm going to go to Aldi tomorrow on Saturday. And the next thing you see will be the Aldi haul. Okay, so those are the things that we picked up at Walmart. And I'm going to go ahead and turn you around and show you what we got at Aldi this week. So I spent... 
um, like $130 at Aldi. But I did get some stuff that was a little more expensive. Like I found my LaCroix there and stuff way more expensive than at Sam's Club. So I'm definitely gonna stock up at Sam's Club when I go next time, but I was completely out of seltzer water. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around and show you what we picked up today. Okay, so we're gonna start in this corner over here. Um, Kylie has been taking these little waters in her lunchbox. If you watched my lunchbox video, then you know that. So I needed another pack because Bryson will actually drink them just throughout the day. He just gets one and puts a flavor pack in it and drinks them. So. Anyway, we need another one and they're like $2 for a pack. Um, I bought this marbled cinnamon bread before and Chris loved it. He said it tastes better than the Pepperidge Farm one that they make, the cinnamon bread. So I grabbed two this time. This is a little pricier. I wanna say it was like three. I think I showed the price in the like shop with me part of this, but he really likes this. So I went ahead and grabbed him two. I will freeze one and then leave one out for this week. Two boxes of saltines. There's no explanation needed for Chris and his saltines. Um, a thing of milk for the older kids. And then we got an assortment of yogurts. So three of these little blueberry yogurts. These I was thinking mostly for Finley. And then I got this indulgent Greek honey vanilla yogurt for me. Because I bought, or you guys saw that I bought some granola for yogurt at, um, at uh, Walmart. You're shaking the table, baby. Sit down. And then... Um, Kylie wanted this Greek non-fat vanilla yogurt. So we got that for her to pack in her school lunches. We were completely out of the chewy dipped chocolate chip bars. Bryson says that these ones are better than the Walmart ones, or not Walmart, or the, the chewy brand ones. So I bought another box of these and they're only like a dollar at Aldi. I see people drinking this Starbucks iced, Starbucks iced coffee all the time. I've never bought it. And then this morning I literally watched Brittany from Brittany, Brittany's Beautiful Chaos. Um, make her coffee like in her most recent vlog, vlog with this iced coffee and I was like you know what I'm gonna buy me some so I think she uses the vanilla but um I went with the medium roast and then I'll just flavor it myself now this is what I meant so I bought two boxes of LaCroix this is the Pomplemousse which is my absolute favorite flavor they make my favorite hands down so I grabbed that because I've not seen it in a 12 pack previously and then this one is the pastec pastique pastique way it's watermelon um flavored so i wanted to give this one a shot so these were each five dollars which is what i mean when i say they were pricier you can get a 24 pack at sam's club for like six bucks so it is definitely more expensive here and i will definitely be buying like two 24 packs when we go to sam's club in a couple weeks okay moving this way i also grabbed two of these garlic knots we are having um the gnocchi this week this week that we will have garlic knots with and then also that pasta con queso so got two of those a thing of sour cream for taco night a bag of cheddar cheese because we had no shredded cheese at all and then we needed piper's trying to eat grapes get away from her there you go um we needed some chicken nuggets but they didn't have any dino nuggets which is what i wanted but we went with chicken fries. The only type of fry they had was tater tots, so we went with that. And then I actually ate some of these on the way home. Um, you guys know I told you Kylie and I went walking before and I was hungry. So I grabbed these turkey sticks and ate like three of them on the way home and Kylie ate one as well. My kids love the Aldi fully cooked bacon um, and it's much more cost effective at Aldi than anywhere else. You pay like four or $5 anywhere else you pay $3 at Aldi and you get like double, it says 12 slices, but there is way more than 12 slices in here. At least the other two packs that we bought, there was way more than 12. Um, yellow rice, this is our favorite yellow rice. So I picked up two of these. I'll make one box to go with the um, taco night. Now this was a bit of a splurge. So this is the Utopian Breeze Mixed Berry Moscato. This is a huge thing. It says it's equal to four bottles of wine. My thought for this is we are doing a little like family Labor Day thing. And I was thinking that we could take that to this. Maybe even add some like frozen blueberries, frozen bear, like raspberries, blackberries to make it like a little fun thing. So that is the plan for that. Cause I doubt I could drink four bottles of wine by myself in any normal reasonable amount of time. Um, let's see. Okay. This is socks. Kylie over there, who now has Piper on a chair, keeps stealing my socks, um, and wearing them herself. So I, I bought some more socks for myself. We needed baby wipes, paper towels, and then we needed ranch. Um, and I don't like the Aldi brand ranch. So they had this Hidden Valley one. So I grabbed that. 
This back here, this cat, Kylie actually bought with her own money, but she wanted to show it in the video. So how much did you pay for that, Kylie? $16. It was $14.99. I think she paid like $16.04, something like that. Of her own allowance money and all that, she's been saving to get something that she wanted, and that is what she ended up picking. Why is the dog on the chair? You petting her? Oh, no. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, it was Piper Girl's birthday the other day. On the 18th, she was one. So she's, okay, let's get her out of the groups. Get her, get her around, Kylie. So she's a whole year old now. Um, okay, so I grabbed a thing of eggs. Four of these SpaghettiOs. Kylie has been enjoying taking these in her thermos for lunch. And then for produce over here, we have a thing of beans. We will eat this the night that we have chicken. A thing of mandarin oranges, Piper. Okay, you were full on on the table. Oh, okay. Get down. Come on, Piper. Okay, sorry about that. Um, a thing of mandarin oranges, um, a thing of broccoli, green peppers, two things of blueberries, green grapes, and purple grapes. So that is everything that we picked up today in addition to our little Walmart haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And again, thank you to Ipare for sponsoring today's video. And until next time, guys, we will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Be on your own. But no matter what comes your way, I will stay right here.